got a lot of elm left over from building the uh, tool cabinet over here. And I'm like, I need to do something with all that because uh, it was more than I cared to store in my uh, lumber storage over there. And so it was kind of making a mess of things. So I came up with an idea for a project and I milled out and glued up all the parts, but I didn't do the joinery. And well, except for one, well, four, but uh, one set of tenons on it uh, and mortises there. I did them in the glue up just to make things a little bit easier. Uh, but everything else is gonna be hand cut. And the idea here is, I'm not going to tell you what it is. I want you to guess, without skipping to the end of the video, you people that want to cheat, quit. All right, just quit. But uh, watch the build all the way through, and before you get to the end, try to throw a comment down in the comments to say what you think it is. Okay, it's a very specific thing, and it's actually a tool, though it doesn't look like a tool. So... I want you to guess what it is, and then at the end of the video, I'll tell you what it is and show you, demonstrate what it does. Uh, and, and we'll have some fun with it. I figured it might be a good way to interact with y'all, right? So, all right, here we go.
So guys, did you guess it before you got to the end of the video? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a Sawyer's bench. So you can cut all the way through, you cut a long piece all the way down through the middle and uh, it doesn't like affect the bench. So it's great for ripping. Uh, you can lay boards across and cross cut. Uh, if you're doing coping sawing, you can lay your piece out here and coping saw it. So it's got a lot of uses. <clears throat> I had uh, not perfect but dovetails. They're a couple of them are sticking out a little bit. They didn't seat all the way in. Or they did seat all the way in, but my seat wasn't deep enough. That's the problem. But, and then when I cut the, uh, the tenons off, this one I scraped the top of the bench. But since it's a Sawyer's bench, it was going to get scraped up anyway. I wasn't too worried about it. Uh, this thing didn't have to be perfect, you know. <laughs> it just had to function. Because I'm uh, wanting to do... I, I've always been fascinated by hand tools, and the guys... Uh, on YouTube that do all hand tool stuff I mean I'm like I'm amazed by them because they, they get accurate cuts and they get the, you know their planes are always you know perfect and stuff and I've always wanted to get more into that but I have a lot of machines that make the job a lot easier so I'm uh, kind of like leaning towards doing more hand tool stuff just for the fun of it uh, and learning some things so uh, this was kind of one of those things I milled everything with the machines before the video and then had the pieces in the general shape that they were going to be. I did cheat on the lower tenons because I glued up uh, pieces to make the tenon, uh, the uh, uh, mortises and the tenons both. So, like the legs were just two pieces glued to offset it to each other and such. But, you know, simplified things a little bit. But at the same time, I still had to cut the mortises at the top, which were not easy. Uh, and the uh, dovetails, of course. So, but yeah, I was nervous about this because there's no lateral support or cross-up support up here at the top and i was afraid it was going to wiggle a lot but it doesn't move very much and i'm like okay i think we can deal with that so anyway on to the next thing i don't know what the next video is going to be yet but um i'm working on it <laughs> so well guys thanks for hanging in this long and we'll see you next time don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next one have a good day